right guys, new day. We're back at the shop here. And the reason why it's taking two days and you guys see throughout the process, a lot of the times when you develop a unique situation like this, it takes some time and effort to find the right setup, right? I'm not talking about the right setup between uh, the cup kit and the coilover. It's the right setup between the springs because um, like Sean mentioned earlier, you have to figure out right the right spring height, right spring rates, and the, the team here are working very hard. Um, if you guys are looking for a setup like this, I highly recommend reaching out to the team at PSI and letting them know, hey, you saw this video, but you wanna get this done and you wanna get it done correctly because sure you can order the kit, you know, stance parts along with another kit and find the solution, but you need the right spring rates to make sure that you're not gonna have a really bumpy ride and actually have the right ride height. So again, we're gonna be here today. I'm gonna be filming for you guys. But again, I wanna remind you guys, you haven't seen a full video of Sean and I just talking about the whole system more in depth, uh, check that video out. It's gonna be more beneficial for you to really understand the, uh, the history about the company and also some of the main important things that makes them different. And this is the reason why I chose Moton AST as compared to uh, any other brands. And right now we're here with Adam and Adam's basically just getting that ride height. Um, Cause he gave me an idea. He goes, hey, what type of ride height do you want? And I kind of gave him some pictures and you know, the shop car that they had, the G80, had a great stance. I was like, look, I like that uh, very similar stance. So right now he's just measuring all four corners, making everything uh, is even and, and making sure that it's to my liking. And he's working very hard with that. Uh, it's early morning here again, but uh, again, I can't wait for this to be completed, see the function of it, and also see the new ride height. And to find the right ride height is very meticulous, right? Because you have to raise and lower the car up and down the lift. You got to make sure it's the right height. It, it's very meticulous. You have to go through many different steps to find the right height. Um, and he's working it. This is probably, what, your 20th time up and down? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm at the point now where I'm just splitting hairs. So, um, we didn't go too drastically lower than it was before. Okay. But to get what you want, you got to get what you want. Yeah, exactly. So you yeah. To, you got to pay to play, which, you know, there's a lot of up and down, up and down. And setting ride height whenever you're this low is kind of cutting hairs. Correct. You know, one, one turn of a collar can be sometimes a quarter inch, eighth of an inch, sixteenth. It all depends on you know the car spring rates you know it's just it's, it's one of those little black arts that not a lot of people really care to deal with and it's very meticulous it is and and 20 times up and down is probably uh, just about average maybe a little bit more sometimes depending on also wheels too right because wheels yeah. play a factor the tire setup plays a factor yeah, yeah. and you setting right heights you got to think 20 steps ahead because you know i know you don't want to run a whole lot of camera i don't so i gotta sit here and okay think through my head okay the wheels gonna travel this much at eh, this ride height's not gonna work luckily I do have camber plates so I can kind of play with that a little bit but you know a lot of your off-the-shelf coilovers correct don't come with camber plates so you got to take that into effect then you got to remember well I might change the wheels later on or, I'm definitely changing wheels later yeah. on yeah or I'm gonna do a, a you know a different set of tires or I'm gonna run the same wheels but I have another set that are have different wheels on and those are the conversations you should have with the, the tech that's working on your car or yeah. the shop right yes so um, yeah it's one of those things that there's a lot of little steps that go into it that physically yeah you just see me going up and down and measuring but it's a lot it's of, a craft it's it's it artwork is. you know and, and and Adam has had you said 15 years of experience with Moton coilovers, right? Dealing yeah. with them, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, dealing with that company and dealing with, you know, installs, the the breakdowns, even building them up. Yeah. I've seen you actually swap out the springs earlier, which you can see on the overlap and B-roll now. Um, but Adam has, what, 25 years of experience? Uh, about 21, I'm going on 22 years. Okay, well, almost um, 25, so we get yeah, in there. That only means, close. that means we're getting older. <laughs> yeah.
All right, so now it comes to a point where Adam's gonna run the lines all the way to the rear of the car where it can pass through into the trunk. Um, and this is the part to find out exactly what's a good spot where it doesn't get involved into obviously the essentials, right? Like the exhaust, you don't wanna touch in the exhaust because it could melt the wire and damage it. But pretty much he did a test run of the setup and it works. It definitely works. There's no um, unusual noises, right? You're gonna hear it with the air compressed into um, the system. But other than that, you don't hear any crazy binding or anything like that. So Adam is almost done running the lines, the air lines, all the way to the back where it's going to connect to this compressor. As you can see here, this is a Stance Parts air compressor. Uh, this is about a two gallon setup and it's going to allow you to have that instantaneously uh, opportunity to just raise the front up within like one or one and a half seconds. Um, but it also depends on how much load you have in the car too. But right now everything's tucked along uh, the passenger side and it was meticulously done so none wires are hanging out and uh, right now he's just tidying it up and he's gonna run it through the trunk and uh, we'll continue with the process. As you can see, everything's all buttoned up. Um, Adam ran the wire all the way through the side panels. What we were thinking about is having the switch to engage the air cups in this compartment. And we thought about drilling into here, but this button's actually pretty big, so it really wouldn't fit. Um, and ultimately, we're gonna let it dangle. It's easy access, right? You can open and close it right there. It's hidden. I don't have to drill into the dash and it's reversible, right? It's easy to take out. All right, so it's been two days of hard work here at PSI and the guys have been working very hard. Adam especially has been working very hard. Um, but Sean, I actually had my chance to drive it. It's very, very, like interesting right because now i'm not afraid about going up driveways or even slopes like this because now i'm lowered i have that functionality of raising the front up and sean i think this whole process about you guiding me throughout the right parts right suspension and also right kit makes me feel that i could take this even up to new york where the bad roads are at yeah so i mean we've done a lot of work on the car but we're not quite done i mean you're able to drive it adam took it for a spin Ken drove it for a little bit. Now we're here, we need to make some more adjustments when it's on the alignment rack, but I kind of wanted to touch base on the flexibility of being able to do something like this and what it takes. You know, because we're the development center for Motown AST for North America, we have a lot of springs in stock. I have a lot of platforms in stock. I know what it's taken to do other Stance Cup kits on some JDM cars. There's special platforms and everything that has to be made. So it's kind of a little bit of work, so to speak, to get this done. And if anyone wants to do a kit like this with a Moton, uh, one-way, two-way kit that wants to do a stance cup setup, similarly to what we did on Ken's car, you guys should contact us directly because I can kind of get you started. There's never a magic bullet for stuff like this. We can always start with a really good setup out of the box with the stance cups, but 
it's gonna have to be tweaked because he has a different wheel setup than other people. He has a different ride height that he wants. And everybody out there with a G80 or an M2 or whatever, everybody has their preferences and everybody has a different setup. And that's kind of what I was going through with Ken yesterday and today, talking to him about how there's not a magic number or a magic kind of out of the box kit we can do for something this special as this. All right, so I know Sean, uh, we're not done yet. Like you said, there's some adjustments that we have to do, right? Um, Taking off onto the road, you notice that the rear is actually a little bit lower than I expect. We're gonna have to raise that up a little bit. We also have to do a, the alignment. Yeah. Um, the main thing is the, it functions, right? So now we have ability to raise the car up and we'll show you again right now. Let's check it out. Yeah. So as you can see right now, the car is raised, right? And we did the measurements in the front. It's about six inches from the front lip. That's gonna give you the opportunity to tackle these obstacles, right? Front lips where you don't have to damage it. And with the push of a button, it goes back to your static ride height. And Sean, like when we first did that, I seen the huge smile on your face. Yeah. Right? And it's it's smooth. Out. I mean, it's, it works well and it, and it's cool. It reminds me, I mean, I was just driving, I was just telling you, I was just driving a 992 GT3 RS that I was doing the break-in on and I was a little bit stressed out driving that car because of the cost and kind of how crazy it is. And it has the axle lift. And even though my driveway yeah. is super flat, every time before I pulled in, I hit the axle lift. So I knew I wasn't gonna do anything with the front lip. And that's kind of here. I mean, the RSC lip, the money that's into that, yeah. the front bumper, the PPF, all of it. And this is about kind of protecting the investment, which Correct. is what we were talking about um, you know, before. So it's cool. It's a cool system. It has some real functionality that actually works. And that makes a big difference. Yeah. I mean, that height, yeah. I mean, is night and day from, from where you are and what most people want to run with the G80s. And just my initial so. reaction of just driving it, there's no noises, right? There's no coilovers are clanking and banging. It, it fits because what happens is the engineering behind Moton and AST, they made those two parts fit. And to be honest, like, in the beginning, when we first had the first run, right? We noticed that the front wasn't low enough, but you yeah. guys made the adjustments. And like you said, there's multiple parts that you guys have here, springs in stock to make that adjustment. Yeah. But the main thing is we should check out the trunk of the car, yeah. right? Yeah, we'll show you where the tank is and everything. All right, as you can see, this is the beautiful setup that Adam worked on for the past two days, right? Along with the coilovers. Um, Sean, we went with a tank setup, right? Could you give a, uh, the viewers an idea of why somebody would want to go with a tankless, a tank setup? Yeah, so there's two setups with these kits that I'm familiar with. One is just using the pump, which is the silver uh, you know, piece that's there. And then there's the tank with the pump. And we went with the full system with the tank. And what that means is that there's air on demand. It means there's air in the tank, it's ready to go ahead and lift whenever Ken needs to. If you go without a tank, like if you don't have room in the car for the tank or don't want to run it, you can go with the pump only, but the pump takes twice to three times as long yeah. to, to lift up. And the concern that Ken had was, is he's gonna be on A1A yeah. in South Florida, yeah. trying to get into a hotel, take his wife out, and then he needs six seconds to raise the front to go ahead in the entrance. That's not gonna work, and it's not gonna work for most people. So, you know, this is the full setup that Stance Parts offered. It has the VI air pump in there, which is a really nice style. Everything came together pretty nice yeah. with, this, with the kit yeah. and the cleanliness of the install, which you guys have seen in the video. And the main thing is that it still functions, right? I still have a trunk where I could use. And as you know, I'm a recent father. I can still put a stroller on the driver's side. Yeah. And the main thing is, it's not overkill, because if you were gonna go full bags, right, all four corners, sometimes you're going to lose a big portion of your trunk. Yeah. So that's something you have to think about. Yeah, initially. it's also more labor to install to install it. And I mean, the thing is, is where we have put the tank and the pump, it's on the, you know, whatever that is, the, I forget, 30% side or 20% yeah, yeah. side of the flip down. So we can still lay the seat down. He can get everything in there for his son and everything that he needs to do. So I'm pretty happy with the install. And the main thing is there's multiple people that have tried this setup and I've heard stories again. You guys heard it from Corey earlier. He had the V3s and he had a really bad experience with getting the Stance Parts kit because number one, it never fit right. There were some noises that were involved and also the spring rates that he had eventually when he got it to the right ride height, it, it felt like the car was breaking for him. And also another buddy of mine, Cars O'Keefe, he just took his whole setup off because it just didn't pair up right. But 
yeah. again, this yeah. works. Yeah, but I, you know, I explained to Ken yesterday, we had this conversation, and I told him it's about the flexibility of the manufacturers. And the cool thing is with Moton and AST suspension is they have the flexibility. Ever since I started working with the brand back in 2016, we've had the flexibility to do special stuff like this, where we can make a kit, they know what platforms to make with the bearings that we can convert and run a kit like this and not really take away the quietness of a nice coilover, the ride, all of that. There's always pros and cons to every mod. There's a few cons here, but this ability of Moton to make a kit, provide everything to make it work is key because it's not really an off the shelf kit. And that's, I think, one of the issues that Corey yeah, had and correct. your other buddy had is they were trying to, okay, here's an off the shelf kit, here's the cups, we're gonna make this work. And either they didn't have the ability to have the springs like we had in stock, but I think it's more of the flexibility of the manufacturer being on board with what we're doing and being a part in the development. And so thanks for Kuhn and Marlene over in Moton and AST for helping me get this done for Ken. Yeah, thank and you. And then we can set that up for you guys too. Because we're here to innovate and also make you guys be aware that there's products like this that work. And I'm so excited because now I'm gonna be able to enjoy the lower ride height without damaging the front lip. And the team here at PSI, if you guys need any work done and you guys know, I don't work with shops or even companies that don't do good work. The guys here at PSI have a long history in doing unique builds and I can't wait to see their E91 M3 actually at the invasion of Orlando. Yep, we'll have it in person. So stay tuned, there's so much more content here at PSI. walk around holy shit excuse me for my language but this looks freaking amazing when you look at the height look at the stance again you guys can check this out at the invasion of orlando coming up uh next month actually guys i want to thank the team over at psi for getting this done again we're going to be back here and also discussing a little bit more about the new setup because again we have new wheels coming that you guys are going to really enjoy that you may see before this video but what i will say though they work tirelessly to make this uh done right i'm excited to take the drive back i'm actually pretty exhausted as you can see in my face um, we have a three-hour drive back home where i can see my family can't wait to hold my son but he's probably gonna be sleeping but other than that, i want to thank you guys for watching this video and we'll see you guys on the next video.